two of them. Yeah, that's my And Coach, what did you like about the performance tonight? Uh, we found a way. I mean, I thought uh, both teams competed hard. It was it was uh, it was a struggle. I think both teams, you know, uh, turned it over quite a bit. Um, you know, missed a, a lot of bunnies both ways. Um, but our guys withstood some runs, especially when we took a lead. Um, you know, this was a great overall effort. A lot of different guys stepping up. Um, you know, it was great to see Luke catch fire there. You know, JJ with another great night. I think we had everyone on our roster had an assist tonight. You know, we continue to stress that. Um, our offense is going to be, you know, wonky at times. It's going to look beautiful at times. But I felt like coming out of the first half into the second half, you know, we get a 32-point third quarter because we emphasize the spacing a little bit better and our just kind of next action mentality. And um, it was good to take that lead in the fourth quarter. And then you got to give the Raptors credit, their full court pressure, denying things blowing up actions. We had some wasted possessions, some shots under duress, uh, but we found just enough uh, possessions there in that fourth quarter with Stan, you know, possibly a really good late run by them. How good does it feel to get a win, too, when, you know, you've got so many uh, guys injured right now to overcome that? How is that? Yeah, no, I mean, it's great. I mean, these guys have been battling, um, you know, outside of the Chicago game on this road trip. You know, Minnesota, they, they caught fire in that fourth quarter and, and we lost some steam. Um, but, you know, middle of a, a road trip for us to start off 0-2 and still find uh, a win against a team that's, you know, playing extremely hard. Guys individually have been playing well. Uh, I thought did, guys did a really good job on quickly. He really hurt us in, in the first game. But, you know, give credit to Barnes and Barrett, Barrett especially. He had a heck of a night tonight. Um, but, you know, impressive by our guys to keep just battling, especially after a really tough one against Chicago just two days ago and um, the fact that we go out there and continue to try to just clamp down defensively make that the priority and then offensively share the rock 30 assists um, that's what it's going to give our, ourselves a best chance over 48 minutes Jaren, that first quarter six steals what, what you make of that effort? Yeah, he was phenomenal. I mean, just his activity, uh, being smart, whether it was on the ball, off the ball, I thought he did a really good job in shift help um, in particular. Uh, obviously, you know, he's known so much for, you know, blocking shots, but only one block shot and six steals. We'll, we'll take that defensive activity, those stocks as they call them. But I thought he was great on both sides of the floor. Obviously, he allowed us to build a nice lead in that first quarter. They made a run. Um, but I think he ended up playing almost the entire first quarter or the, or the entire first quarter. Uh, but his defensive presence was definitely impactful. Um, everyone always tells young guys to kind of just be ready for their moment, right, and their opportunity. Um, given all the challenges this year and all the injuries, how proud are you of what Vince has been able to do and kind of not just establishing himself uh, as an NBA player right now, but earning a place in the future? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm very proud of Vince. Um, you know, it's something that we've tried to make as a focal point in our program dating back to my, you know, first year is, you know, guys, whether it's, uh, you know, guys on Grizzlies, you know, standard contracts or they're with the hustle. You know, John Car Conchar is a great example of a guy that spent time with the hustle and got rewarded for it. Obviously, recently now with um, Vince getting that opportunity, it's a product of their work and their understanding of, you know, how they're going to impact winning basketball. It's easy for me to say that, but behind closed doors, when we talk to these guys about the work ethic, the pro habits, the the discipline that it takes to develop that routine, your first, second year in the league, um, and it leads to your work rate. You know, what are the things you're working on for the role that you're going to play for us when your number's called? Is it through G League opportunities? Is it through play group opportunities? Is it even in end of game situations, you know, where the game's out of hand? Um, are you going to go out there and have the right mentality? And obviously he's doing a phenomenal job defensively, assignments. He gets better one game at a time, and he does all the intangible things, blocks, steals, uh, assists, rebounds, and then catch and shoot on offense, make simple plays, um, really impressed, and he's only going to get better because we're going to continue to challenge him. And I know he got his opportunity this year because of a lot of, obviously, the injuries in front of him, but all that stuff you were talking about, were you seeing all of that kind of behind the scenes? Like, we didn't get to see that, obviously, because yeah. he wasn't playing in NBA games, but were you already seeing all that stuff? Yeah, and, and it was kind of one of those things, just, you know, when that opportunity was going to pop, you know, you know, you look at the schedule and there's maybe opportunities, but, you know, we've had kind of an avalanche of injuries, which definitely opened that up, but he'd been, he's been someone we've talked about dating back to the start of last offseason and, you know, on a two-way contract, you know, we're going to need to make a decision there, and hopefully he's going to put in the work. He did it all throughout. I thought he played great in summer league, so we got to see that um, in the practices and in the games and obviously how he was playing in uh, preseason, especially just in the practices. But as I said, you don't get to see the play groups, um, you know, and just his mentality. We would challenge him, hey, even though this is a play group and you're playing maybe with some video guys and, and other guys out of rotation, I need you to execute this coverage. I need you to play this way on offense. It's not about you scoring 20 points in a play group. And he went out there and did it, and then when his number was called, he hasn't looked back he's just steadily just gotten better and when he's made a mistake or had a tough go here he just continues to pour into the work and find ways how am I going to establish myself defensively and be an impact player on the offensive side whatever's asked of me 
And lastly, on Vince, just uh, is there anything that he's done so far in NBA action that has surprised you that maybe you didn't even see, whether it was in the play groups or behind the scenes? Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't say surprise, but when you just kind of, you, you know, he has an edge to him, uh, which you love. Um, you know, he may be a quiet personality, but when he gets competitive, you know, you, you see it come out of him. You see him kind of, you know, not back down from guys. I mean, one of the first games was, you know, Luka Doncic. You know, Luka was having a heck of a game, but he didn't back down. He was picking up 94 feet. You know, they were jawing back and forth and all that stuff. Um, seeing him carry that game in and game out, just being locked in on a guy, just trying to crawl up under their skin um, and still execute, you know, a wise uh, defense. Um, you know, th that, that's been the thing that's probably like really kind of stood out to me. Coach, any update on Santi? Yeah, just some knee soreness. I think there was like a bang bang play, um, you know, uh, in front of our bench. And, you know, after evaluation, they just said, hey, let's just give him the rest of the game and we'll evaluate him more tomorrow. Coach, about Santi, uh, he's having a bigger role this season just because of the injuries, obviously. Uh, what are kind of like the expectations for him uh, for the uh, rest of the season? For me, it's, you know, continue to show versatility on both sides of the floor. You know, he, he's got to continue to grow on the defensive side. We continue to challenge him, you know, the physicality on ball. You know, we want to be a team that can switch more actions. Um, so his presence on the perimeter, you know, being a guy that, you know, we can lean on, whether you're getting the rebound or not, to, you know, grow into more physicality. That's something that we challenged him in. You know, at the beginning of the last offseason, I thought I saw him take some strides with that, the national team. And then obviously, you know, this season, we're going to continue pressing upon that physical nature on the defensive side. And then offensively, a guy that can shoot really well he's got you know versatility with his playmaking drive just really making quick decisions we got a lot of guys kind of playing different roles right now and he's got a really high IQ especially on the offensive side I would just want him to have an aggressive tone make quick decisions um, and create advantages for us but also when that time comes to knock down shots keep repping them out um, and shooting at a pretty high level which I know he's capable of I guess Great. we're at 500 on the road is there anything you can kind of sink your teeth into the, with, with that uh, I don't know I mean we're 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 playing uh, competitively you know on the road obviously the home record's been a struggle all season long uh, we got to bottle something up here on the road and, and take it back home but you know our guys I think they relish opportunities you know the, com the extra competitive edge you probably got to have you know on the road that you know road mentality as we talk about uh, but that's impressive because last year it was a it was a 180 we were the best home team in the league and we were probably one of the worst road teams so every season's different but especially with all the challenges we're facing. Guys are just really relishing going on the road, hunkering down. Uh, now we just got to continue building on that at home. Great. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Appreciate it.